Okay, let's start. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show this evening, let us begin our show with a prayer. Let us now remember ourselves that we are in the holy presence of the Lord. God our Father, we to ask for the enlightenment and rescue and repent and success of the organization Anthony Inclusion Philippines. We ask for the repentance of the group, the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first whatever is the religion of their core team, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with, with their gender, ethnic groups, poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge conspiracy and violence, which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for, for its founder and his party to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe, and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord, Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan and may stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by hands in inclusion Philippines to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong things. In your eyes, the organization did. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calusod, pray for us. Saint Clair of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us and our family and our friends. St. Michael the Archangel, St. Benedict, Pope St. Pius X, and Pope St. John Paul II, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone, all organizations and all the people who formerly worked with the organization who made terrible mistakes, and those the people who took part in a conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and as an inclusion, Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Please bless our show today. In Incoradio, magpaya tayo kay inclusion. Give us all the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that comes from you. Give us grace. We will continue to do our best in whatever we do here in Hands and Inclusion. And Lord, sana meron kami natutunan sa mga talakayan natin ngayong gabi. And all this we ask in your name. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Forgive us this day our daily bread and forgive us from our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to our for death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The, the wounds inflicted upon you due to COVID-19. This is. Disclaimer, ang mga pananaw at opinion ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamunuhan ng organisasyon ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Okay, all right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to our new episode of Magpayo Tayo Kain Dusha. Today is Saturday, October 16, 2021. We're your host, Carlos Miguel Aveliana Kanahashi, Christian Gerald Chan, and Asher Santos. Good evening to you. Evening. And we're broadcasting simultaneously on Inclu Radio and on the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. As we commence our show this evening, we'd like to share with you our daily verse for today. To read our daily verse for today, I will give the floor to Christian Neural Chance. Christian, thank you, thank you. the floor is yours. Thank you. Be devoted to one another. Honor one another above yourselves. This is from Romans chapter 12, verse 10. We shall commence our presentation in just a moment, and we will be back after these commercials. Now this. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right. Welcome back to Magpayo Tayo Ka Inclusion. This evening, we will discuss to you about the seed of wisdom. Before we get to our topic this evening, what is wisdom for you? Christian, you go first. Yes. All right. Wisdom for me is different from knowledge in that even if in that wisdom is harder to attain but but has more value than knowledge. How about you, Asher? What is wisdom for you? Hello? Asher? Hello? You? Asher, hello. Asher. Okay, I'll go ahead. So for me, what wisdom for me is that, to be honest, wisdom is the quality of how we experience knowledge and good judgment. The quality of being wise. So, decision in regard to the application of experience, knowledge, and good judgment. So, it is the ability to know what is true and what is right through the use of common sense or the collection of one's knowledge, ladies and gentlemen. So, the ability to make a decision based on the combination of knowledge, 
experience and intuitive understanding. Wisdom involves a healthy dose of perspective and the ability to make sound judgments about a subject while knowledge is simply knowing. So, uh, Asher, hello. Wait, naka-headset. Asher? Wait, naka-headset yata yan. Maybe. And it's better to remove your head. Just remove your headset instead. Hello? Asher, what hello? is Asher? Hey, hi, Asher. Hey, hey, hello. Oh, sorry po. Naka, wait, wait lang po ulit, ha? Let's okay. check po ulit. Check po Asher? Po Asher, what is wisdom yes, for you? Hello? Carlos, okay na. Okay, Carlos, what okay is na Asher po. For, Asher, what is wisdom for you? Yes, your wisdom po is through meditation and spiritual knowledge, man can follow a path in consciousness which leads from instinct to intact while understanding and finally to into the knowledge consider the inner reality of life po. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so without further ado, let us okay. now discuss our topic this evening. So, our topic for this evening is the seed of wisdom. Let us define what wisdom is, ladies and gentlemen. Wisdom is the ability to contemplate and act using knowledge experience, understanding, common sense, and insight. This is associated with attributes such as unbiased judgment, compassion, experiential self-knowledge, self-transcendence, and non-attachment and virtues such as ethics and benevolence. So, in Neyman's term, ladies and gentlemen, wisdom means the ability to understand and also the quality of being wise as well. The natural ability to understand the things through the use of your knowledge as well. So to read the essence of this topic, I will give the floor to Christian Chan. Thank you. Wisdom means right understanding. Okay. You understand the situation and you understand what you can get from it. Knowledge of the superficial apparent truth is not true wisdom. And as he said, wisdom is just wisdom is more than knowledge. It requires it requires discernment and decision making. That's absolutely right, Christian. Ladies and gentlemen. So to read this slide. I will give the floor to Asher Santos. Asher, the floor is okay. yours. Thank you, Carlos. Um, yes. Through wisdom, like God's grace, is alien to the natural man. Wisdom is, in fact, a divine gift that is granted by God whenever any believer asks. This is the clear teaching of James. From James chapter 1, verse 5, ESV. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. What does this mean, Asher? Oh, uh, you, I know, you, 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 wisdom for, for, you, para, tapos, mag-ask ka kay God po mismo, para, ma-approach you sa kanya, po, at mag Give siya ng, ano, ng give po, po sa wisdom po. Okay. Yet, how many ask? How many pray? Solomon asked for wisdom and it is in this prayer that unlocked the riches of the world. Based on 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 8 to 13, it says there, And your servant is in the midst of your people whom you have chosen a great people, too many to be numbered or counted for a multitude. Nine, give your servant, therefore, an understanding, nine, to govern your people, that I may discern between good and evil. 
For who is able to govern this, your great people? It pleased the Lord that Solomon had asked this. And God said to him, Because you have asked this, and have not asked for yourself long life or riches or the life of your enemies, but have asked for yourself understanding to discern what is right, behold, I now do according to your word. Behold, I give you a wise and discerning mind, so that none like you has been before you, and none like you shall arise after you. I give you also what you have not asked, both riches and honor. So, what does this mean, ladies and gentlemen? Based on this slide that I showed to you, we discuss about what Solomon did when he asked for wisdom. But when Solomon asked for wisdom, Here, ito yun. The reason why did Solomon ask for wisdom, ladies and gentlemen, is because King Solomon could have asked for earthly treasures, but he asked for wisdom to lead God's people. God created people to do His will. King Solomon asked God for wisdom to lead God's people. So, what are the three examples of Solomon's wisdom? The story of the child, the writings of wisdom literature, and the story of the queen of Sheba. Okay. Asher, can you read this slide, please? Okay. <laughs> From Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7, ESB. Tell us, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Who's despise wisdom and instruction? Is, th is this is the answer to the second part of the question? How does one acquire wisdom? The biblical answer is found in all of the script scri scriptures that we have cited and many more. We can survey all of the full of biblical insights about wisdom and in whole the precious next are of truth about how to get wisdom what does this mean yung parang ay wait na paki back then okay yung what sa, does this mean yung sa ano yung sa common knowledge po po yung bibigyan siya ng ano parang something yata yung sa yung sa kapanyayihan yata parang sa ganun eh Okay. So, here. So, 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 ladies and gentlemen, my question is this. How, how does one acquire wisdom? Here. Christian, can you read this, please? Thank you. How does one acquire wisdom? Recognize that true wisdom is something we need. Like grace, wisdom is something God offers and that which we must receive. It is a gift. We cannot, without God, we cannot attain such, we, can, we cannot attain wisdom. Repent of your claim on wisdom. Turn to God. By faith, believe in God and in, in His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Ask Him for wisdom. What does this mean, Christian? Okay, what it means is that um, only God can give us wisdom because it is, but because by ourselves, we are, it is hard to achieve. We are, li but we are limited. But God is all powerful and all knowing, so we have to ask Him for His wisdom. Okay. Receive the anointing of wisdom, even as Joshua received wisdom after Moses laid his hand upon him. Recognize that wisdom is a spiritual act. It has very little to do with cognitive development or education. It has everything to do with the anointing of God to see what is right and what is wrong, to know what to do and when to do it. You and I both know that wisdom does not come along with the cheap skin of a diploma or certification. Cry out to God and He will answer you and anoint you with wisdom. So based on the third part of wisdom, wisdom recognizes the gentlemen that wisdom is a spiritual act. 
Why? Because it has very little to do with cognitive development. And as we move on to the fourth example part of how to acquire wisdom, use wisdom for the glory of God and for the good of others. If wisdom is not exercised, then wisdom ceases to be. However, the very nature of wisdom instructs your heart to use your insights, your discernment, your discretion, your vision to fulfill God's will and to demonstrate how to love your neighbor. So I will give you guys an example, ladies and gentlemen. So, can you give an example of a wisdom of, of how to show wisdom? Christian, you go first. How to show wisdom? Yes. In ex in your in exam can you give us an example? Please? Think before you speak. And if you want me to explain it, I shall. Um most of most of the times, um people with autism like us some there one of the cases that people with autism as is sometimes, like me, we have our own impulses and sometimes we don't understand that there are things that we may say like other people that might land us into trouble and that's why we that's why we are with true wisdom ask us to think before we speaking and i think everything should go to the through the four-way test Okay. Asher, how about you? What's your example of wisdom? Yung wisdom po, for example, you sa pumunta tayo sa before, before on the, sa mga, sa labas, sa activities for BBP, the autism, and ano, somebody else po, po may mga kwent, iba-ibang kwento, to, 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 to sa determination, sa ano, no, sa life and ano pati sa uh, inspired po stories po sa, sa iba-iba tao po this is before the pandemic po okay for me I give an ex I'll give you an example a lot to show wisdom meaning through the use of common sense like you need to understand the situation and also through you should be wise as well through the use of your intelligence as well and knowing how to, to show wisdom as well okay so i will give you some of the points in wisdom here christian can you read this slide please what are the points of wisdom Points of wisdom. You will make mistakes. Sometimes they dreadful mistakes that please accept them as an environmental hazard in an avocation that calls for us to make a multitude of split seconds conditions under very stressful conditions. To expect perfection is to be a burden for any person to carry. Ultimately, you'll take the joy out of officiating for even the best official. Know your role. You're part of a bigger package. Don't show both. When you need to sell a call, it's okay to give an empathic signal. But actually designed to draw attention away from the players and non-officials are unprofessional and unacceptable. Use the standard mechanics and signals for the level of play at which you're working. So um, if you want to be wise, first of all, learn that you are not perfect. Learn that you that mis that you will make mistakes. And also learn your place as well. You are not all powerful. And so wisdom also, which means Wisdom also requires humility and vulnerable and acceptance of being vulnerable. Vulnerable. Okay, Asher, can you read this, please? Ito. Yung dalawang ito sa slide nato, Asher. Asher, ito. Hey, okay. Okay, sorry. For all but few of us, officiating is an advocation, not our profession. Recognize that will help keep your life in better balance. It takes time, hard work, and study to become a successful official. But an official must not put officiating ahead of what's re really important. Family and work devote more time and energy to your family and your job than you to do to officiating. Officiating team builds skills 
for a lifetime. The qualities that make a great official are also qualities that make a person a good employee, spouse, parent, and friend, teamwork, loyalty, sacrifice, study, decision-making, fair-mindedness, accountability, and honesty are just a few of the positive skills and qualities that can be learned, developed, and implemented through officiality. So as what we have as what we have as what Asher read, we need to keep your life in better balance, ladies and gentlemen. Through your hard work and your study in order for you to to be successful. And you're also for your life to succeed. That's what I've discussed last time on about the formula how to succeed. We need reason how to succeed in life as well. On how to show, and also in relation to our topic, wisdom, we need ways on how to show the qualities of a person. We need to show your teamwork, your co collaboration, your cooperation, your sacrifice, and also accountability as well. I this question. So, You referee who you are. Your officiating personality is driven by your everyday personality. That's not necessarily a bad thing. But remember that extremes are often detrimental in officiating. For example, if your job involves supervising people, remember that you can treat fellow officials, players and coaches team, as you do your employees. So if you're on sales, you may have to hone down your personality on the field. Meaning, ladies and gentlemen, meaning we need to show that you are leading. That's why it is done through leadership. How can you show leadership in terms of wisdom, Christian? Mm -hmm. How to show leadership in terms of wisdom? Or how to show Always wisdom in terms of leadership? Leadership. First of all, um, Take responsibility for your decisions and actions, and be uh, take responsibility for your decisions and actions. Also, learn to be a strategist and tactician at the same time, because being a leader, being a leader of a project is not easy. You have to facilitate over, facilitate many people. But doing it with wisdom allows them allows everyone, including you, to get the best out of the project. How about you, Asher? How can you show leadership? How can you show wisdom in terms of leadership? Of course, of course, Carlos. I know, kahit to niyan. You have to show the leadership as a, I know, through wisdom po is to give decisions po to, I know, kahit to pa, to pa, um, wait that, Carlos. Um, to, to take responsibility sa mga bagay-bagay po na ginagawa po dapat hindi magkakamali po ang, ang pagiging isang leader po tsaka ano to be a good ano good, good role po po sa pagiging leader po in term of wisdom po okay okay can you read uh christian can you read this slide please let us always remember that jesus is the is the fullness of God's wisdom. To receive the anointing of wisdom is there is some way to know the mind of God and to draw close to the one who is wisdom incarnate, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Um, the okay, what yeah. we preach Christ crucified to the Jews as stumbling block and to the Greeks foolishness, but to those who are called both Jews and Greeks, the Christ, the power of God, and the wisdom of God. Jesus Christ is the wisdom of God, and to receive him is to recognize your need of him and cry out to him. God will answer your prayers, so this is wisdom and how to find it. It is it is as it is, res ipsa loquitur. Um, God, we are imperfect, so we need to have God with us. Okay. So, as we close our topic, to read our sum in summary, I will give the floor to Asher Santos. Wisdom is the appropriate application of knowledge. And that is so bad of a reviewing wisdom in the Bible. This invaluable virtue is deep in 
immeasurable, priceless, and rare. It is like saying, Jesus is the re Redeemer. That is true, yet our Redeemer is infinitely more. In other words, this is the quality of having experience, knowledge, and good judgment, the quality of being wise. Okay. So, as we have mentioned earlier, we discussed about wisdom. It's the ability to understand as well. So without wisdom, what will happen? Christian, you go first. Without wisdom, we will make poor decisions. And remember that decisions have consequences. How about you, Asher? Without wisdom, what will happen? Oh, no. Magigi sad po then ano malaki consequences po sa atin po pag hindi po ginawa ng wisdom po oh for me to be honest without wisdom we will not make any good decisions at all meaning our decisions will be cluttered or magulo that's why we need, we need to show wisdom as well my question is how can we show wisdom here in hands and inclusion? Christian. How do you show wisdom in hands and inclusion? Yes. Before making decisions, always think about what to say and what to do. Think before you speak. How about you, Asher? How can you show wisdom here in hands and inclusion? Of course, of course to be an uh, to be good good people. You hindi po don't want to trust other people na hindi kakilala po, especially po sa mga demonyo po, po, po na uh, ano, nababanga nga dito, especially na sa mga spammers po dyan. Tapos then, you, ano yung sa ano, pagiging matapan po, po para maging conspiracy for the Okay, for me, uh, to show wisdom here in Hassan Inclusion, we need to set an example. Magi isang mabuti halimbawa tayo. And also, we need, as what Christian said, we need to think before you speak. And also, to understand the situation. Okay? As we, so next, let us have our virtual pasyalan. So where are we going today for our virtual pasyalan? I will reveal this to you now. Are you guys ready? Yes. So Asher yes, and Christian, saan tayo pupunta for our virtual pasyalan? Of course, uh, the Lasse Couch of St. Vinil po. Bakit? Eh, doon eh, ka nag-aaral eh. Any special Saka, events there? Saka, yes. Saka nag-training nag kami po, po sa computer before. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. So, we're gonna go to Dallasau College of St. Vinit for a virtual pasyalan. It is located in two, camp, two areas. The flagship is in Manila, Manila, but the, Manila, but the second one is in Rizal, Antipolo. So, also guys, are you ready to have a tour of Benil looks like? Yes. Be my guest. Be my guest. Ano, ano to? Ito yung Ed Learning Research Center ng Benil sa top. At ito naman yung SDA. Yung SDA po yung sa, ano, sa Jaime Hilario po mismo. So, ito yung, yung nakalocate po. Ano pa? Ito. Ito yung cafeteria na SDA. Dati, before, they used to have the, what we call as the concessionaires. But now, last 2017, Kitchen City took over the management of the cafeterias in Active TAF and SDA. Or the TAF campus and the School of Design and Arts campus. And this one oh, is the Angelo King International Center. It, in, in its it shared it with Hotel Benil as well. Because if you remember the Hotel Benil, the one next day si Pope Francis, di ba? Noong 2015. Sa pag, habang nag, during his visit here in the Philippines. 
Pay Cognizant in 2015. Ito, yung Plaza Villarosa. Ito yung itsura niya. Oh. At ito yung statue ni St. Benil. At ito yung mga Carilian Bells. This one is Benil Hall. This one is uh, Lucian Marine. The, the one, this one is, I think it's Jewer. And the other one is, what is this? The Benil. And Asher, ano to? Yan yung sa top campus. Opo. Duduli yung nag, ano, yung nag, nag, ano ako, yung sa, ano, yung sa, para yung sa expo po noon, November 2019, tsaka yung sa, ano, yung sa, nag, presentation, para yung mga Olympic noon, 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 after kami na mag-training po, Oh, do so ako nag ano kasi. Yes, if you remember, this this one is Plaza Villa Rosa inside. The, the Plaza Villa Rosa, if you remember, that that's the Greenway Square inside. The Plaza Villa Rosa sa outdoor area ng Benil. Ano yung sa Greenway Square, Asher dati, na kung saan nagbasar ang Hansen Inclusion noong November 2019. Diba? Yes po. Wait, napapakita. Sino ang doon? Sa America? Wait lang. Ang um, pakala ko si Royland. Si, si Royland. Ano, para hindi. Para hindi na maano. Dahil pa pa. Si Bell. Andoon at that time. Okay. Si Asher. Kailangan dapat na yung kailangan yung picture. Wait. Na, 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 na. Let me show you to us. Kailangan na yung Teka na. Eto. Eto. Eto, yun lang po yung nakita ko pictures. Ito. Ito so, yan. Ah. That's Asher when doon lang sa Benil. And also, this also, um, if you remember Asher, uh, also, dito sa Hansen Inc. Ocean, di ba, mga, ilang mga Benil Jano, si Royland, doon na, doon na, Ako, si Ral. Um, Asher, di ba? At hindi ako nag-aaral doon. Nag-training lang kami. Nag-training lang kayo. How about doon mm-hmm. nag-aaral? Ako, si yung may-ari ng Hansen Inclusion at si Ral, di ba? At si Kevin, pero sandali lang siya bago nang gumit sa kalayaan. Apat lang kami nun, di ba? Apat na Benil Jano, di ba, Asher? Kasi if you remember yung Benil, doon ako nag-aral. Di ba? I studied there in Benil as well. Ang training na kami. Hindi ako mahanap niyo. Dami picture, especially is a more. Dami kasi. Okay, so I'll show you. Ito sa Benyad. Ako. Pakita din ako. Okay, guys. Ito sa Benyad. Ah. Pa sa Benyad pa. Yeah. Pa si ko. Papa. And yun sabi niya din yan. Sa top yan mismo. Ito pa. Okay. And also, 
isa ka ka dito. Sabi niya. Ah. Oh. Okay. Ito yung sa vinyl po. This time is sa Lube 2019. The best bodies yun ha. Ito. Ito. Ay, doon sa 12th floor po, sa kantin. Kung gusto, ano, alapi mo lang yung, ano, yung nakalito dyan, Lucie de la Norte from po. Doon sa, ano, sa, sa business special from po. Hmm. I see, yes. Malapit mo na sa profile ko. Thank you po. Elizabeth Paris po. Doon kami nag-ano ka sa pinigini. Um, nandito po ba kayo noong no, 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 May 25, 2019 doon sa Binir, doon sa ano, nandito ba kayo? Tama ba kayo? Ta. Sure. Ah, yes po. O, oh, nakita lang. Tandi na nakita si Carlos noong nag-ano kami. <coughs> sa BDP po. Ito pa. Noong last, noong kanya pa, noong March 6. I think March 7. Ito. Uh-uh. Actually, and also, um, us Asher, Ilang mga binil dyan ko sa hands and inclusion? Um, hindi ko na matandaan eh. Ako, si Roy na. At ready ako, masyad, di ako nag-aaral doon eh. Eh, ano lang, Just kasi yung nag-training lang kami. Yung may-ari, yung si Kevin at si Ralph. Di ba? Okay. I think apat ngayon, mga binil dyan ko sa hands and inclusion. eto dupa may pa yung sa binil pa ito yung sa binil eto sa training po sa binil ito sa timing layo po to kasama ko sa timing layo yun sa yun Ito pa, ito pa yung sa, sa loob po, which means... Saan yan? Sa Avenir? Yes po, sa Jaime Hilario po, sa part floor ng SBA po. Saan yan? Saan sa SBA? Fourth floor po. Fourth floor? Fourth floor, Jaime Hilario po. Hmm. So, isa pa, isa pa. Ay, show you something. Ito pa. Virtual. Binil. Oh. Virtual binil. Sa base values. Ito di doon sa sa port floor po. Doon sa may parking po. Dito to the parking po. Sa certificate po. Ito pa. Ito niya. Okay. Okay, and now, the, since last year, the need already shifted to a fully online term. Diba, Asher? Yes po. Bakit? For the pandemic po, pati na yuhay ni Lalo nag-ano din, nag, nag-online webinar na po. So, yata eh, yung pagkakalam po. <laughs> Okay, and also, you know, the reason why I, I picked this for our virtual Kumusan is I think we're already, since because Benil is celebrating its anniversary, the anniversary of Benil. So, Asher, so, you know, like, here in the Ocean, may 
meron nag-aaral sabi niya, oh, sino pa? Yung may-ari. Si Royla. Si Kevin. Pa? Asher? Uh-uh. Ang di po kasama ko kasi nag-aini lang kami doon sa computer mga around April to June 2018 po. po. Tapos may pastor po November 2019 po. Doon sa main ko. Hmm. I see. So, I, did you guys enjoy our virtual tour? Yes. yes po. So, for our next virtual tour, next Saturday, where are we gonna go? Christian. Surprise. Yeah, you have surprise. Surprise, yes. It's a surprise. Yeah, no so watch out for that. For me, because what I've learned from the virtual tour is, um, uh, med- so Asho, diba, may related kami sa vinyl, diba? Opo. Kasi tumabay, ba, tumabay diba? ako dun eh. Eh, eh, eh. Tumabay ako. Ika umabot pa ako ng Oh, ang pagkakalam ko rin po is no 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 around tapos tapos tawag sa na 20 na doon pa kami isa maabot pa kami ng gabi eh ma ang mga 8 9 ng gabi just before the new and six operations at that time uh-uh. and also from because the new is 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 also the pioneer in inclusion right Yeah. Binion is a very inclusive educational institution. Just thinking you're very inclusive, Yan. Why? Ah, sure. And the only yung mga deaf. Diba? Opo. Diba? Center for Opo. Inclusive Education. Opo. Ang dami mababay mga taong eh. Alam mo siya doon maaway. Puro friendly po sila lahat. Oh, and also my orgs, diba, yung Best Buddies Benilde. Isa na chapters ng Best Buddies Philippines. Tawak ng CIA Center for Inclusive Education yan. And the Student okay. Involvement Office. Okay. Okay, na... Also, best, Christian. Christian. Um, yes. Also, um, should um all schools be inclusive? Yes. Or not All schools should be inclusive. Because we are people. Example is Ateneo because respect. we have an org, yes. right? Ateneo yes. Steve. Okay, and also, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed our virtual tour. But it's now time to move on to some of our announcements. Very important announcements. So, first of all, we have some products for sale at the Hands in Inclusion Philippines online shop. We are selling One Inclusion Nation t-shirts available in red, black, blue, white, and yellow. All sizes were 275 pesos. For the One Inclusion Nation tote bags, it's available in white and black. Sizes range from medium to large and prices range from 150 to 200 pesos. So how can we pay, ladies and gentlemen? Well, first of all, we will be very strict on payments. Payment first before purchase. We accept payments from on this QR code that is flashed on your screen in just a moment. And we will deliver your ordered products via GoGo Express in Metro Manila and its surrounding area, OBC nationwide. Just a reminder, the Anthony Inclusion store is temporarily closed for areas under enhanced community quarantine and modified enhanced community quarantine but it will continue to serve in areas in general community quarantine and modified general community quarantine to purchase our products on shopee it won't be affected its operating hours are from 9 a.m to 2 p.m for a full list of orders this is infinity's facebook page Or email us at ansi.inclusion at gmail.com. Asher, ito na. Can you explain this, please? Okay. Ito na, mag-scan na kayo. Ito na, mag-scan na kayo ng sa QR code ninyo for the donations. The donations or present po sa GCash po. 
Gas, 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 gas. Shoot. 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 Ah, sure. Continue. Yes. Okay, yeah, done. Can you continue? Okay. So, doon po kayo yung pag... Then, eto, mag-scan and donate na kayo sa GCash po para matuloy na po ang Hats Inclusion Philippines po for its for its organization po mismo. Regardless, no matter what, it doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger. It will be appreciated for you guys to donate because we're already been struggling with our financial problems including us here in this organization. How can you do this? Scan and donate using GCash on this QR code that is flashed on your screen. Your, the floor is yours for this. And what's the purpose of this? It's done. Okay. Um, more recently, we've experienced the typh we experienced typhoons that, that hit the Philippines like typhoon marrying. So, North, so Northern Luzon needs help. Um, our fundraiser will also extend, also also give monetary contributions for. We'll also donate money and other relief goods for, um, for northern for people in northern zone who are, who are um ravaged by the typhoon because cut by any hand and intuition. So again. Regardless, no matter what, it doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger. Scan and donate in cash as well. So, guys, what are you waiting for? Please, please, and please, please donate to Hansen Inclusion Philippines. Please purchase our products from the Hansen Inclusion Philippines online shop and also to help our brothers and sisters affected by Titan Marine. Please help Healthy Inclusion Philippines for our fundraising project and also to help our brothers and sisters in Northern Luzon who are affected by Typhoon Murray. We're aiming to raise funds in our organization and let us have time to help in order for us to have a bigger, a better, and a bolder Healthy Inclusion Philippines. And all the purchases from the online will all funds will go to Anthony Fusion Philippines for its formality and its expenses, and also for our brothers and sisters affected by Typhoon. So guys, for those who did this, you'll be glad you did. And for those who did this, thank you for your continuous generosity and for your support to the organization. For our episode, uh, Um, here are your gallery and special achievers will have projects sold out. Six, 15 out of 76 works are sold. This is in partnership with Ateneo Special Education Society, Autism Strong Philippines, Best Buddy Philippines, College of Rehabilitation Sciences Student Council, Hansen Inclusion, UNICEF, Philippine Academy of Occupational Therapists, Society of Occupational Therapy Majors, the ABLE Center, Bubon Ateneo, UP College Association of Speech Pathologists, and You Belong PH. So if you want to check this, please check special achievers on, our, on Facebook as well. Also, we have some coming up for the month of October in Best Buddies, Philippines. On October 20, we'll be Wednesday with Coach Pepper and then we'll also celebrate Diwali with Ravi Sanjanani on October 23 and on October 30, a fairy tale hollow event for 2023 and 30. Follow Best Buddies Philippines on Facebook and Instagram send them a message and they will send you the register form and the link as well. Because here in Best Buddies Philippines, make a friend, be a friend. Friends look out for each other and friends become part of the family as well. Okay, also on November 6, 13 and 20, 
Special Olympics Philippines will have a leadership training called Link 2021. So, if guys, if you if you try to uh, for those who register, then that will be delivered. And also, the, it will be done at 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Special Olympics Philippines as well. Also, here, guys, Christian, yes. also, here, to those who are hungry, here are some of the foods that you can order from Sobra Restaurant. What are the products there and from the U.S. beef tapa up to the sandwiches? Christian. Come again? Mm. You know, if you, if you want to order from, can you, you, wanna, if it's, can you read for up? So, Christian. Yes, sorry. Right. So, many, many, for, many of Sobra, if you feel hungry, you know, the USB rib cap tapa for, for me, rib, 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 USB rib cap tapa, strawberry beef brisket, beef pizza, and beef little doggy for five fifty for medium and one, 1,100 to 1,200 for, for large. Now, if you want some, oh, so if, if you feel like you want some, um, you want some, we want some sandwiches, you can go for, right? Oh no, fried chicken sandwich, mm, fried chicken sandwich, Uncle Bird's fried chicken sandwich for, 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 um, for 320 of up to 1,500, four boxes of four. So, how can you order? How Step can you one. Order? And two, so two dishes you want to order. choose between pickup or delivery. Pay using integrated payment methods, and your order is confirmed. And expect updates via text or email. Also, follow Hands in Inclusion Philippines on our social media pages and its digital platforms. It will be appreciated for you. Do this as early as now. Follow us on Facebook, Antimon PH, Raja in the Sports in Kumihan and the online shop. Instagram, Hansen Inclusion Kumu HNI Philippines, and subscribe to the Hansen Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. So, guys, for those who did this, thank you very much. Now, it's now time for our shout-outs and greetings. So, to Lindsay Togane, Lady Jane Elisar Florese, and Bilisette Makuse, good evening. Thank you for watching. To our birthday celebrants today, to those who are celebrating their birthdays this week, happy birthday and expect the more birthdays to come. So, Asher for our birthday celebrants this week, sino yon? Si Ronald Motomul, noong October 11. Si Michelle Aventajado, kahapon. Oh, nakita ko sa, ano, sa, 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 So, belated happy birthday and expect the more birthdays to come. And also, I would like to say good, good evening, a go for some I would like to say good evening and thank you to the point. To my family, good evening, hi. To Hans and Inclusion Philippines, Best Buddy Philippines, Best Buddy Spinil, and all the organizations thank you very much as well to encourage friend good evening as well to those who are being seen from Benil from the previous third term 2020 to 2021 congratulations po and also to us Janina Aventajado and Darlene Bongat for completing studies in the Salle University as well Asher, you go next. Okay. Carlos, papati po naman sa mother ko, sa mama ko ng happy birthday po. Birthday po today siya. Hello po sa, ano, sa mga taga, ano, sa advocate po. Pati sa Lana Organization, greedy po sa inyo lahat. Greedy po. How about you, Christian? What's your shout out in week? Um, shout out to my family and friends and in in, uh, in everywhere. So hello everyone, I'm here. Also today is Sarina Chua's birthday. Um, a former member of Athenaeus Speed and a friend of mine. So happy birthday, Sar. 
Also, um, G. Roland, happy birthday as well. And also to those who are celebrating their birthdays today. Some more shoutings. Asher. Yes. Yun lang po. Yun lang po ang itis po natin. And also, to those who are watching, guys, it, will, it can be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening wherever you are in the world. I hope you guys are in a good mood, but if not, you may use this time to help in your well-being as well. To those who are watching us on the radio, if you miss this episode, it will be viewed on the next day on the Hansen English and Philippines YouTube channel for your viewing pleasure. As we wrap up our show this evening, can you can you read our quote for the day? Christian, can you read this? Please? Oh, yes, of course. Be more concerned with your character than your reputation. Because your character is what you really are. What your rep- reputation is merely what others think you are. By John Wooden. So, what does character this mean? defines our actions and our thoughts. And character is shaped by, also by our actions and our thoughts. So, character defines us. Reputation only is concerned with the outwards only, while character concerns with the inward as well. Okay. So, also guys, uh, we remember that tomorrow is Sunday, as Hans in English and Philippines continue to put God first regarding our faith. That is a day of rest and faith. It will be best for your full cooperation and also for your silence, people attend the your services peacefully as peaceful as they can and as for ourselves of the almighty god all right that's a wrap for our episode on magpaya tayo kay for saturday october 16 2021 i'll be back again tomorrow for the inko radio special report on behalf of inko radio enhancing inclusion philippines Miguel Kanahashi, Asher, Christian Gerald Chan. Saying, may the Almighty God bless us all, pagpalain na watayo ng buong ng kapal. May bagong tapang sa what? All together. H N I God. God first. God first. Thank you very much. Good night. And bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.